Okay, so, oh, yo, thank you for the sub. Okay, so, on Tuesday, I flew out to Louisiana uh, to go be in my friend's uh, feature film. It was a SAG film. Uh, it was good. I had a, a role as uh, I played uh, the school uh, drug dealer, and I did that, and um, it was really funny. It was a lot of improv, and it was honestly such a great experience on set. And, um, I, uh, yeah, I was a Benjamin dealer and yeah, it was good. I did that and, uh, yeah, it was the plug and then I did that and then I came back on, on Friday and then I went to a friend's birthday party and then I, I'm back home now and I had an idea while I was gone that I wanted to, uh, Try out this idea of uh, money maxing. Also, our Wi-Fi should be like amazing from here on out. Um, we got our Wi-Fi redone, which is really good. Um, but yeah, so um, with that being said, I had this fun idea for money maxing. And here's kind of my idea, y'all. I want to challenge myself for uh, 30 days to make the absolute most of money possible on TikTok. I want to do that by live streaming on there and uh, doing uh, honest product reviews and, um, you know, minute long videos. But yeah, I want to dive more into that when I wake up a little bit more. I know it's already like it's 3.40 p.m. I don't know why I still feel groggy. Probably. Um, but so I had that. And then also another update is I, I finally promoted my music to my... Um, to my TikTok audience, I posted a video about it on my spam account. It has like 140k views, um, so that was good. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, so I took off all the songs that were on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, so I did release my music on Spotify and Apple Music like months ago, like probably February of this year or something. But it was like worse quality shit. I'm not bugging right now. I'm just fucking tired to be honest. Um, so I did a. Uh, so I, I removed it from there because the versions of the of the songs were uh, kind of like outdated and less qual worse quality than uh, the rest of my uh, than like the newer stuff. So I deleted all my music on everything but SoundCloud, and uh, we actually just hit our first 10k on SoundCloud for uh, for a song. So that is pretty good. Uh, yeah, you love share. Yeah, I like share too, Lindenman. Thank you, I appreciate it. What up, y'all? What up, what up? Luxembourg, what up, Emma? Um, love you, Lizzy. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Alvin. Thank you so much. So, that's what's up with that, and I feel pretty good, you know? I'm, I was out of town for a little bit, and um, now I'm, I'm just kind of uh, resetting up some goals that I have. So, you know, I just hit a mill on Instagram, so that's good, and I made sure to, like, pause my life and, you know, give myself a pat on the back, um, to do that so that I keep my head screwed on and, uh, that was good. And, uh, almost 200 K on YouTube. Yeah. We're at like 160 on YouTube, which is amazing and great. Um, so that's kind of, kind of what's up with me right now. I'm really excited about this like whole money maxing idea I have for TikTok. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I definitely want to like, I'll probably make a separate YouTube video, like my normal YouTube videos I make. It won't be like a stream clip about it, but that is what's up. Am I going to stream on Twitch during the money maxing month? Yeah, I love streaming on Twitch. Um, but I, uh, so I'm thinking about that. So let me just talk you guys through how I think I'm going to go about making the most of money, amount of money possible on TikTok. Uh, also a uh, Wrangler just sent me a bunch of clothes. So I'll show you guys this little. Canadian tuxedo thing I'm wearing right now. Um, just, you know, pants, match the shirt. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Alvin. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Alvin. Yeah, I should. So I've been, I've been kind of good about doing that, but, um, um, now what? Um, so here's how I think I'm going to go about making the most amount of money possible on TikTok. Anyone who wants to make money on TikTok, Listen here, because I'm about to go into it. So, 
I basically had this idea where I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm setting up ways to make money for myself, but I honestly think that like TikTok really makes it really easy for you, um, you know, and they're not going to be helping me with this, but TikTok does make it pretty easy for you to, to make money in terms of like, you know, affiliate commission and monetizing videos and like going live and doing live battles. I mean, even just live battles uh, alone is something that you can make a lot of money on um, that as well as, uh, you know, posting, reviewing a product um, and, you know, also from your uh, from your, your minute long content, you'll also make money. So I had an idea. It's lagging. No, um, it looks good on my computer. So um, we have that. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, okay, if I want, if I'm thinking of doing product views and all, so I think I'm really just gonna go hard with TikTok Shop. Uh, I think that's actually gonna be the um, biggest thing that I'm probably gonna go hard on. And I'm thinking about doing a little bit of math before I start it. So what I'm thinking, y'all, is um, I want to give myself a budget for like, you know, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a budget to buy X amount of, you know, products um, from TikTok Shop. And, um, you know, post videos um, with those things and do a very honest review. Something that I'm kind of dealing with right now is that, um, you know, since I'm like a big, uh, since I'm like a, like a bigger creator, I don't think like a big creator, but like since I'm like already have an established following on my main account, uh, I am a little worried about, um, yeah, I know they can send me free stuff. Um, I, I am a little worried about, um... Um, you know, like saturating my account too much with like product reviews and like kind of like very, you know, obviously chasing the bag and stuff. Um, and I, obviously I have no shame in chasing the bag. Um, but I do think that it might be, um, like people might get a little bit annoyed if they see me doing these product reviews on my account and it just turns into that. But at the same time, now that I'm saying this out loud, it actually wouldn't be a horrible idea because that if I do actually like honest reviews of like products from brands, then that actually is like kind of an example for other brands to see me able to like work with products and give honest reviews. And that might actually open the door for more brand deals. Um, so that is a bonus, but I had an idea of like trying to start from zero and like, um, uh, product review core, yeah. Oh my God, wait, Em, I watched the, uh, the the video you made of Trill this morning uh, of us and Trill. I thought it was super funny. I thought you did a really good job uh, with that video. I haven't seen the one of me and Chase and Troy yet, but I thought you did a really good job with that video. I was happy about that one. Thank you very much. Um, I thought you did a really great job. Um, so I, I was thinking of um, for the product for like, you know, uh, money maxing. Uh, I was thinking of starting an account from scratch, like from zero followers, and then like trying to blow up that account a little bit and turning that into like my money maxing account where I'm just like do like a bunch of product reviews and all this stuff. But at the same time, I was like, well, I don't know if that really even does level the playing field just cause like, you know, cause it, I would have an advantage opposed to someone who hasn't had a following on, on TikTok yet to, um, um, I'm losing my train of thought. Like, like it, it wouldn't be as like level playing field because I have a b bit of a following built. So I was thinking like, all right, well, I already have, you know, platforms that I've built for myself. I can just do it on those. So I'm, I'm kind of figuring that out. I think I'll probably ended up doing it from my main just because like, if the, if that's the goal of money maxing, then like I should utilize all the leverage that's available to me, which is, you know, my social media platforms. Um, so it really would be like, I want to create like sort of like a, a schedule for myself for like 30 days. Um, and also I don't think 30 days is enough. I just want to say this. I don't think 30 days is enough to, you know, figure out like the absolute sauce for it. You know what I mean? Like obviously at the end of those 30 days of money maxing, I would uh, obviously refine my, uh, how I'm going about it. I would like refine, you know, I'd find the best way to do everything. Um, 
It streams lines away from you, which can I get on you because your main channel is still producing all the content. Yeah. Yeah, true. So, uh, yeah, half the people left because of the business talk. It's okay. I like to talk about this shit. I don't mind. Um, so that's kind of the ideas that I'm having right now, y'all. Um, I think what that would look like is probably like throwing up one, um, product review video a day. I know that there's also another way to, um, do, I don't know. Um, I don't really know, but that does excite me to like, just try and chase the bag crazy as fuck and, you know, still be able to, uh, um, you know, I still want to stream and do, I, I want everything to be normal, but I want that to be like a, a personal quest that I go on. Fuck it. He's going full capitalist content. Yeah. Met the kid. I'm very, I'm very open about try about like chasing a bag on social media. If you haven't noticed, I'm very because I just, you know, I am very financially motivated. Um, and yeah, I think that would just like um, expand your horizons too. For sure, Mo uh, Moonchild Amber. Totally. Fuck it, we ain't got rights anymore. Uh, and um, yeah. Bro, it's built to be rich. <laughs> like, Sammy, that's just how I grew up. Like, my mom always was like, be a doctor, be a lawyer. Like I had one of those moms. So my whole life it was like money, money, money. You need to make money and all this shit. So I, um, yeah, I want to, I want to try and do that for myself. I honestly want to try and want to try to make, um, I honestly want to try and make a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, I can't, thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I haven't made a thousand, a hundred thousand dollars in a month, uh, in my life yet. Um, and I think that would be a really fun way to try and do that. Um, and I just like kind of getting in that bag chasing mode. And yeah, I know a hundred, it would, a hundred a month would be insane, y'all. It would be insane, but like, guys, people do that. You know what I mean? Um, and, and yeah, I think you use personality product views. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Genoa, I totally hear you. Uh, later silver. Um, but I, so that's my idea. And I'm excited by it. And that would all that would help because that would help me kind of more freely, um, you know, hire, uh, like work with my assistant and shit like that. So I just want to have, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like realized I'm at the point where the only thing like there's other ways for me to be making more money. I just thank you so much, Savage. Um, you know, there's, there's other ways for me to be, um, making money and to be like doing what I'm already doing on social media. But, um, there's, you know, I do have like a, a picture in my head of what, like, like completely optimized productivity or production would mean for my career. Like I have an idea in my head of like what it looks like to really be going like 10 out of 10 work ethic every day. And I think right now an obstacle of that is just kind of like time constraint. And I think I've definitely made it more of an issue for my, like, I keep saying that, like, I feel constrained for time and like, oh, I don't have enough time in the day to do this or that, whatever. Yeah, maybe it will help with RPM. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Thank you for the, for the bits. Um, so, or for the, for the redeeming. So, yeah, I'm, um the shelf life of being an influencer is pretty short. Might as well chase the bag while you're on the up and up. Yeah. It's also a thing is that, um, you know, I always, I don't want to be like, uh, I don't want to be like, I, I want to, I want to make reliable income for myself. I heard this phrase. It's a predictable recurring income. Like, cause you can generate income on social media being an influencer. Like, if you're, you, you build up your, um, you, you know, your platforms that you're going to make money on like Twitch and YouTube, or if you're just really good at TikTok, um, you know, you can do that, but I want to make money that is kind of completely independent of my personal brand, or at least make money in a way that is under my control. And, you know, I will totally be, yeah, make sure to invest for sure. For sure. I do that. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm actually, you know, I actually have like a weird, Alva, that's funny that you say that, I would love to make a, uh, a, a, a video on this, but I'm actually, um, should I drop more merch? I should do that. Oh, what up, mom? Um, love you, mom. So, I, um, I, I do use Robinhood. Um, 
so I actually have like a weird opinion on like of kind of like investing for my future. Um, basically, this is like I don't know if I've told y'all this online yet, but um, the way that I am going about my life right now, I am pretty much like it's it's like making money now. Like I I'm not making money now and saving it all for later. I'm basically making money and, you know, saving, of course, but um, the just reinvesting, you know, a lot of it back into my career because, like, if I just keep, you know, financially feeding what I need in my career, like assistant and editor, subscription, shit like that, that stuff all helps elevate my personal brand and it is all, like, an investment on myself. Um, yeah, so I, I, I actually don't um, have any long, long-term long investments like that. I do have recurring investments on my Acorns. Um, I put all my money into a high-yield savings account, uh, 5%, you know. So uh, that's how I do it. So I actually do not um, invest in a 401k because honestly right now the whatever like $3,600 that I would be able to invest – in the first, um, that I would be able to invest in the year. Like I'm so much better off putting that 3,600 into like some sort of business venture that I can like continue learning about how to monetize my audience and platform and using that. And then, you know, learning some repeatable, you know, um, business models that I can do. And, you know, whether that wants to be put into content that, you know, I'll make money from the content and then grow my, um, and then grow my, uh, social media, you know what I mean? Yo, block, can we block this Selena person? This person's crazy. Um, oh my God, what a weirdo. So, um, yeah, that, that's my, uh, my two cents right now, but I did want to make a video on, um, all of, yeah, she keeps making accounts. I know Selena's crazy, dude. I don't know. This person needs to get a, get a hobby or something. Um, but yeah, that's that's my two cents, y'all. So it's um, right now I'm just kind of, you know, reanalyzing a lot of my goals. Um, you know, maybe I want to work on it on stream. I don't know. But um, yeah, I want to listen to my song. Um, but anyways, we just hit our first uh, uh, 10K song on uh, SoundCloud. <laughs> 